The kids that love me for my realness. 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 Vibes Cartel, Vibes Cartel, you are indeed the lifeline of dancehall and Jamaica music in the entire world. You're not like anyone else. You find the way you are. Did you do this all yourself? A smile ignites the room. Sitting us up to the time, you know it's Cartel, representing for Blessed D, Gaza Diva. Well, Blessed D, Gaz, Ativa, back at it again, and I want to take the time for all of you who have forwarded into my DM and asked to me about the Privy Council, what it means, when it started, what will it do, I have a few answers for you. So for all of my Gaza Nation people who don't like to read, mm -hmm, oh no, I have you covered. For those of you who genuinely have a concern and don't know what it means, I have you covered. For those of you who just want to find out more, you have an idea, I have you covered. Your girl, Gaza Diva, have you covered. And will keep you covered, as per usual, when it comes on to anything Vibes Cartel and the associates of Vibes Cartel related covered. Right, so let's get into it. The Privy Council formally advises the Queen on the exercise of the royal prerogative and corporately as Queen in Council. It issues executive instruments known as orders in Council, which among other powers enact acts of parliament the privy council is the highest court of appeal for all british territories such as antigua and barbuda the bahamas cook islands grenada jamaica the christopher and nevis saint lucia saint vincent and the grenadines and tuvalu so in essence gaza nation this is basically saying the privy council advises the queen so you know like how we have the prime minister he runs the country and then we have the cabinet the privy council would be sort of like the cabinet and they manage and help with the legislations they then communicate to the monarchy and the monarchy along with sovereignty are interchangeably used because that means royalty that's all it boils down to so when you think about regal people people who or a part of royalty it's called a monarchy or it's called sovereignty and it's the same thing so if you are here somebody using either of the two it means the very same thing so the queen's council will make all of those matters concerning the land concerning people and they give the information over to the queen who pretty much has the final determining factor who are the privy council members pretty much a privy council is made up of several appointed sworn in individuals that are to directly report into the queen how does the privy council work all right so the privy council is split into two parts <clears throat> so the privy council is split into two parts there is a business section and it has main categories such as the prerogative business where there is no legislation allocating responsibility to a particular minister so you know you have like the minister of finance and you have like the minister of security in the privy council where there is no such portfolio then the privy council will act in that capacity also the privy council provides a mechanism for ministerial advice to the queen since constitutionally the queen acts only on such advice so remember what i said earlier that the privy council they make um decisions about the affairs of the land and then they take it to the queen and the queen will review it and then she signs off on it why was the privy council important the privy council was elizabeth's group of advisors its main purpose was to give numerous different options or opinions and the monarchy decided on the issue at hand so again goes back to the same point they make their decisions they look at it they bring it before the monarchy and it can range from the matter of religion military the queen's security economics and the welfare of the citizens of the land so now you see how that kind of takes into account five cartel case because that would be a case or the welfare of the citizens of the land and because jamaica is a part of the commonwealth 
industrial or com part of the Commonwealth region. That is why the case is being taken to the Queen's Council or the Privy Council, which is the final determining court for the Commonwealth countries, such as Jamaica and those I previously mentioned. What were the features of the Privy Council? The Privy Council was the core group of English nobles and acted as Elizabeth's main advisors and key members of government. So again, it goes back to my point, Parliament, you think about Minister of Health, think about Minister of Security, consider the Privy Council to be that group of people. So is the Privy Council binding? And that pretty much means, does any decision that comes out of the Privy Council, can that be overturned? There goes your answer. The Privy Council should regard itself as bound by any decision of the House of Lords or the Supreme Court, at least when applying the law of England and Wales. So one of the other things I need us to look at is conditional leave, because you know the article has explicitly stated, and the lawyer that I played yesterday stated, Lawyer Simmons that is, she stated that they, um, Vibes Cartel and his co-accused were granted conditional leave. So conditional leave is basically... If the court is satisfied of a plausible or probable defense and which defense is not considered a sham or moonshine but yet leaving certain doubts in the mind of the court it may grant conditional leave to defend so pretty much there must have been doubt in vibes cartel's case why he was granted conditional leave so one of the main reason for this conditional leave and conditional leave in essence what i'm gathering is there has to be a condition upon which we are granting you the opportunity to leave jamaica's legal state and go to the privy council so several issues of concerns were highlighted in the local appeal court to include the trials judge management of the issue of jury impropriety that occurred during the course of the trial remember they screwed with the case they messed up the case and the jurors were implicated there were bribery on the case that was one of the main reason so doesn't necessarily mean that vibes cartel lost the appeal as i've said to many people back in april it just means that the man who now has coronavirus mm -hmm, he caught coronavirus and i'm not celebrating it but he caught coronavirus and he as far as i'm concerned did not look into the case at the level at which it should have been investigated nothing was said nothing was done about the juror nothing was done about the tampering of the phone nothing was done about wise vibes cartel being accused of being somewhere where when he's in the hospital nothing nothing of the sort were discussed the only thing you heard oh we shaved two years of the sentence in because they know that if this is the first thing they are trying to cover their own grounds not to give vibes cartel anything because two years of uh, of, of 30, 35 years is nothing nothing nada zilch but they're trying to clean up their rear end before they go to the privy council because that's the first grounds upon which the case would have been dismissed garbage what you have a man in prison without giving him parole are you retarded that is a really that is his right everybody no matter which crime them commit them get parole but vibes cartel are getting on i tell them all the time them can't tell say anything they want to say about vibes cartel you can't go and shut off them face in civil cases the lower court will generally grant you leave to appeal if the court is satisfied that your court case raises a point of general public importance in criminal cases it is unusual for the lower court to have the power to grant leave unless your case raises questions of great and general importance or there has been some grave violations of the principles of natural justice. So Gaza Nation, I'm going to read this again. In criminal cases, it is unusual for the lower court to have the power to grant leave unless your case raises questions of great and general importance or there has been some grave violation of the principles of natural justice tell me now down below in the comment section what are some of the grave violations in vibes cartel's case and i say cases because he first went to local court that's one it was handled there yes it's one case but he went twice 
So the fact that he had to go twice and the local and the local appeal court didn't do anything about it, he now has to take it to the Privy Council. It is bad in itself. So there you have it, Gaza Nation. Spam the comment section and tell me your thoughts below. I just wanted to take the time because I'm getting a lot of questions about, and I I just took all the questions I got in my DM, and I said, let me just do a quick roundup of what I understand from the Privy Council. And the little that I know, I just took it a bit further and did some, of course, research for you guys so I can bring it here to you so you can understand it a bit better. So leave your thoughts down below in the comment section let me know if this data helps and of course as always reach out to your girl at blessed underscore gaza diva on ig and i'll be more than happy to update you on our artist which is always my front and row and center focus man gaza nation i'm so delighted i'm so happy one thing i want to talk to you guys about we don't care about any artist. We are just focused on Vibes Cartel. We don't care about who is sweating. We care about what is going to happen for our artist. We don't care about who is going to lose this. We care about what is going to happen for our artist. As I've said before, a number of you have hit me up for scriptures already. So good for you. Gaza Nation, you need to understand that this is a spiritual war and it's very spiritual. How Vibes Cartel's case is going, they clearly have hands of voodoo involved in this. Obia, witchcraft, necromancy whatever you want to call it now it it all it it is a part of it all right so you have santeria whatever you want to call it so what do you want to call it witchcraft magical work santeria obia voodoo whatever you classify it as it is all involved in here and a number of these artists in dancehall they're working it some you have seen done it flagrantly and some are hiding and doing it and even some of them skinning up them teeth on vibes cartel page i don't trust a lot of them but that aside don't focus on them focus on our artists and focus on the scriptures you're going to read and the fasting that you can carry out and what we can do to ensure that we utilize this opportunity and as always God is in control. Whatever the outcome, we are always going to be right here, standing up, saying Gaza for life. But we are standing behind our artist and we are going to be fort fortright, resolute. And now you should be focused on nothing else but Vibes Cartel. I'm out.